In this video, we're going to talk about the foods that should stay out of your fridge to maintain their optimal freshness and flavor. Watch till the end to get the complete guide on how to properly store these everyday items. If you like what you see, please give us a like and hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest videos. Chocolate. Chocolate, cherished for its rich flavor and smooth texture, has specific storage requirements to maintain its quality. Refrigerating chocolate is not recommended as it can lead to several issues, including sugar bloom and altered texture. Chocolate is best stored in a cool, dry place where it can retain its taste and consistency. When chocolate is refrigerated, it is exposed to moisture and varying temperatures that can lead to sugar bloom. Sugar bloom occurs when sugar crystals rise to the surface of the chocolate, creating a white powdery layer. This happens when chocolate is exposed to moisture and the sugar in the chocolate dissolves and then recrystallizes on the surface as it dries. While sugar bloom does not make chocolate unsafe to eat, it does affect its texture and appearance, making it less appealing. The ideal temperature for storing chocolate is between 65 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit with low humidity. These conditions prevent the cocoa butter in chocolate from melting and reforming, which can cause fat bloom, another form of separation that results in a white, chalky appearance on the chocolate surface. Fat bloom, like sugar bloom, doesn't affect the safety of the chocolate, but can change its texture and taste. Refrigeration can also alter the taste of chocolate. The cocoa butter in chocolate can absorb flavors from other foods stored in the refrigerator, leading to an undesirable taste. Additionally, the sudden temperature changes from the refrigerator to room temperature can affect the chocolate structure, leading to a less smooth and satisfying mouthfeel. To store chocolate properly, keep it in an airtight container in a cool, dark place, such as a pantry or a cupboard. This method protects the chocolate from light and oxygen, both of which can degrade its quality. If chocolate must be stored for an extended period and room temperature conditions are too warm, it can be wrapped tightly and stored in the coolest part of the house. Or a wine cooler can be used to maintain a consistent and appropriate temperature. Tomatoes. Tomatoes are a staple in kitchens around the world, prized for their versatility and flavor. However, many people make the common mistake of storing tomatoes in the refrigerator, which can lead to a significant loss of taste and an undesirable texture. When tomatoes are subjected to the cold environment of a fridge, the low temperature disrupts their ripening process and affects the compounds that give them their distinct flavor. Tomatoes contain volatile compounds that contribute to their taste and aroma. These compounds are sensitive to temperature changes, especially the cold, which diminishes their activity. As a result, refrigerated tomatoes often taste bland compared to those stored at room temperature. The cold temperature inside a fridge halts the enzymatic activity and the development of natural sugars and acids in the tomato, preventing the full development of its flavor profile. The texture of tomatoes is also compromised when they are refrigerated. The cold causes the breakdown of pectin, the substance that holds the tomato cells together, leading to a mealy, mushy consistency. This textural change is not just unappealing, but can also affect the tomato's culinary uses, making them less suitable for dishes where the firmness of the fruit is crucial, such as in salads or as fresh toppings. Additionally, tomatoes are best ripened on the vine under the sun, but once picked, they continue to ripen due to the ethylene gas they emit. Storing them at room temperature allows this natural ripening process to continue, which enhances their flavor and texture. When tomatoes are refrigerated, the cold air slows down the release and effect of ethylene gas, interrupting the ripening process. To maintain the best quality of your tomatoes, they should be stored at room temperature, away from direct sunlight. They should be placed in a single layer, stem side up, to prevent bruising and to allow air circulation around each tomato. This method ensures that the tomatoes continue to ripen and develop their flavor and texture naturally. Stone fruits. Stone fruits, including peaches, plums, and cherries, are celebrated for their juicy flesh and sweet, tangy flavors. These fruits continue to ripen after being picked and should not be refrigerated before they reach ripeness, as the cold environment can halt their ripening process, affect their texture, and diminish their flavor. Refrigerating stone fruits before they are ripe can lead to a condition known as chill damage. This condition results in fruits that are mealy, flavorless, and less juicy. The cold temperature of the refrigerator disrupts the enzymatic activities that are essential for the development of the fruit's natural sugars and flavor compounds. As a result, stone fruits that are refrigerated too soon may never fully ripen or develop their characteristic sweet and tangy taste. 
The ripening process of stone fruits involves the conversion of starches into sugars, which enhances their sweetness and overall flavor profile. At room temperature, this process occurs efficiently, allowing the fruits to soften and become more flavorful. When stone fruits are kept at a consistent room temperature, they ripen evenly, resulting in a better texture and taste. Once stone fruits have reached their peak ripeness, they can be refrigerated to extend their freshness and prevent overripening. However, this should only be done when they are fully ripe, as refrigeration at this stage will only slow down the natural degradation process without altering the flavor or texture significantly. To properly store stone fruits, keep them at room temperature on a countertop or in a fruit bowl where they can breathe and ripen evenly. Avoid stacking them as pressure can cause bruising and accelerate spoilage. Once ripe, if not consumed immediately, stone fruits can be stored in the refrigerator's crisper drawer to extend their life for a few more days. Basil Basil, a fragrant herb beloved for its fresh, peppery flavor, is often used to enhance a variety of culinary dishes. However, storing basil in the refrigerator can lead to rapid deterioration and loss of flavor. Instead, basil thrives best when stored at room temperature, where it can maintain its vibrant color and aromatic qualities. Refrigerating basil can cause it to wilt and turn black quickly. The cold temperature damages the delicate leaves, leading to cell breakdown and moisture loss, which in turn causes the herb to lose its structure and freshness. The humid environment of the refrigerator can also contribute to the development of mold and bacteria on the leaves, further reducing its shelf life and usability. Basil, like many herbs, continues to respire after it has been picked. This process requires oxygen and releases carbon dioxide, and it is best facilitated at room temperature. In the cold, confined space of a refrigerator, basil cannot respire effectively, which hastens its decline. The cold also diminishes the volatile oils in basil, which are responsible for its aroma and flavor, leading to a less flavorful herb. The best way to store basil is to treat it like a bouquet of flowers. Trim the stems and place the basil in a glass or jar of water, just like cut flowers. This method keeps the basil hydrated and allows it to breathe, prolonging its freshness. The glass should be left out on the counter, away from direct sunlight in a well-ventilated area. This setup mimics the natural environment of basil and helps maintain its structure and flavor. Changing the water daily and trimming the stems regularly can further extend the life of basil. This process prevents bacterial growth in the water and ensures the basil can absorb moisture effectively. Additionally, covering the basil loosely with a plastic bag can create a greenhouse effect, keeping the humidity around the herb just right and extending its freshness. Onions. Onions, a ubiquitous ingredient in cuisines worldwide, have specific storage needs that, when not met, can lead to decreased quality and waste. Common practice might lead some to store onions in the refrigerator. However, this environment is detrimental to their preservation. Onions should be kept in a cool, dry place to maintain their texture and flavor. Refrigeration exposes onions to moisture and cold temperatures, conditions that can accelerate spoilage and lead to a soft, moldy texture. The nature of onion cell structure makes them susceptible to absorbing moisture. In the refrigerated environment, the high humidity levels can infiltrate the onion, breaking down its firm structure and leading to a mushy consistency. This moisture can also foster mold growth and rot, significantly shortening the onion's shelf life. Moreover, onions contain complex sugars and organic compounds that contribute to their sharp, pungent flavor. When stored at cold temperatures, these compounds can break down or alter, affecting the onion's taste. The cold environment in a fridge can also cause onions to become bland or develop an off flavor, deviating from their characteristic taste that is essential in cooking. Another critical aspect of onion storage is air circulation. Onions require good ventilation to prevent moisture accumulation, which can lead to decay. The confined, humid conditions of a refrigerator restrict airflow around the onions, exacerbating moisture-related issues. In contrast, storing onions in a mesh bag or a basket in a well-ventilated dry area of the kitchen or pantry allows the air to circulate freely around them, reducing the risk of spoilage. To maximize the shelf life and quality of onions, they should not only be kept out of the fridge, but also stored separately from other produce. Onions release gases that can accelerate the ripening and spoilage of nearby fruits and vegetables. A cool, dark, and dry storage area is ideal, such as a pantry or a cellar, where the temperature and humidity levels are stable and conducive to preserving the onion's firm texture and sharp flavor. 
That wraps up our discussion on foods that shouldn't be refrigerated. But the learning doesn't stop here. Click the video on your screen to continue exploring with us. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and insights.